Tell me when. Oh my gosh. Are we allowed to kiss? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anyway. You're so beautiful. I can't wait to sit there and do it with you. <laughs> Are you gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> you look so handsome. Let me look at you. <laughs> You're so beautiful. It's worth the wait. I know, right? <laughs> shaking. You cold? Yeah. <laughs> I got this for my happy tears. <laughs> Eight years ago, I met Brad and Angelina. We were all awkward teenagers at Marquette. The pre Brangelina days, I know, very ancient times. The next year, Brad made the best decision of his life, and he decided to ask Angelina on their first date. As the years went by, we finally reached the end of our high school journey. When the time came to decide where our next adventure was gonna take us, I wasn't surprised to see Brad and Angelina both going to Mizzou with me. Our college days were a mix of amazing memories, a lot of drinking, and adult realizations. But one thing made it out of the college even stronger than it came in, and that was the love that these two have for each other. Being able to witness you guys grow as people and as partners has been the best experience of my entire life, and I'm glad that I've been here along the way with both of you. Not a single person here today has been untouched by the love and joy that you have in your hearts, and I want to thank you for that. Angelina, you're the sweetest woman I could have ever had to be with Brad. Your patience and your understanding is unmatched only by the love that you have for him. Brad, yeah, you did a good job. Don't mess up, please. <laughs> but actually, Brad, you've become my best friend of these last few years. Living with you and constantly goofing around all those late nights, drinking and studying, all that time together has made me so thankful to have you in my life. And no matter where life takes us, I know that you always have my back. I love you, man. All right, everyone, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Genevieve, Angelina's sister. <laughs> I have had the privilege of spending my entire life with Angelina in it. And I have been to, I've gotten to see her grow and become such a strong and independent woman. She works so, so hard, and I've seen that over and over again. And from the beginning, Angelina has always known just what she wanted, and she got it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, girl. <laughs> when it came to Brad, Brad was all those little things that she had written down since she was, you know, 10 years old. He has to be this, that, and the other thing. And along comes Brad. <laughs> and I have been so honored to get to meet Brad and get to know him better over these years that they've spent together. And I could not have picked a better guy than Angelina did. <laughs> Brad treats her so, so well. He takes such great care of her, and I know that they're going to have a lot of really great, happy years together. Um, my mom always said, find a guy that treats you like a queen, 
And Brad absolutely does treat my sister like a queen. I am so, so happy for you two. And Brad, I'm so excited that you're my brother officially. Because it's been like that for a while, but it's official now. <laughs> anyway, I love you both so much. And I wish you many years of happiness. And I'm so excited to see your love and your relationship grow. And thank you so much for being a great example to me and everyone you know of what a beautiful relationship should be. So ladies and gentlemen, by the power invested in me by the state of Missouri, I declare Brad and Angelina husband and wife. <laughs> you may now please the <laughs>